Hello everyone and welcome to the Missouri School Boards Association's board report for the month of April. We thank you for the opportunity to share some news and information during a few minutes of your board meeting. We begin with a look at the development of the sixth version of the Missouri School Improvement Program. MSIP, as it's known, is the state's accountability system for reviewing and accrediting public school districts. MSIP first went into effect in 1990 and the current version, MSIP 5, has been used to accredit schools since 2012. Work groups charged with developing MSIP 6 standards begin meeting this month and will focus on the four broad areas of academic achievement, climate and culture, systems and processes, and success-ready graduates. Commissioner of Education Dr. Margie Van Dieven told those attending MSBA's Legislative Forum she expects many issues to be considered by the work groups. Surveys, for example, we used to have cultural surveys included in the, in the, um, the advanced questionnaire. A lot of you are familiar with them. We used to administer some of those. But others are looking for metrics that aren't not necessarily associated with the school. So I've heard anything from unemployment rates to incarceration rates. I mean, what do we really look at to know schools are, are being successful? So there, it goes all over the board right now, and we will need your input. I think it's going to be an exciting time. Van Dieven appeared at the MSBA Legislative Forum along with State Board of Education Vice President Dr. Vic Lenz. She says she expects the MSIP 6 development process to take a full year to complete. The arts often have a powerful impact on the education of students in our public schools. To highlight that impact, the Missouri Alliance for Arts Education recently held its annual Fine Arts Education Day at the Capitol in Jefferson City. The event featured vocal and instrumental ensemble performances, dance groups, and theatrical presentations by students from school districts throughout the state. They agree arts education is essential to their success in school. I'm the president of our speech and theater program called Mass and Gavel, and so I have been in this club for four years for my entire high school, and being in that, I've seen like introvert for people who have no experience in how to communicate with others and have low self-esteem, I've seen them blossom. I've seen them develop as a person and I think the arts is really important in trying to like propel people into brighter futures and trying to find out who they are and challenge them as a person because the arts really force you to think of different perspectives and I really think that's important. I think the arts have a, valid, a big validation within our communities and within our state and society. They help let students grow and develop in various ways that I can't even possibly answer. But I just know that with having the arts established and with having the arts here in our state, students like myself are able to find ways to express, their, express themselves through personality but through also characters as well. If it did not exist in my school, I don't think I would excel in math and science. I do pretty well in school overall, but you know, when you go to high school, there's no more recess anymore. You don't have that thing that's catering to your energy, that's catering to your needs. And if I didn't have like an acting class to go to, if I didn't have a sixth hour that I felt excited to go to that drove me throughout the day, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay attention in math class. I wouldn't be ready for science. Not only does it help your grades and stuff in like math and science, but it also helps communication skills. Being involved in the arts will get you further in job interviews and it helps you make eye contact and you're able to, you know, clearly speak to people. And it just, it's really applicable anywhere you go. The students also had the opportunity to meet with their state legislators and talk about the importance of their arts education experiences. The Missouri Arts Education Alliance believes the arts should be recognized as a core component of the academic curriculum and urges school districts to strengthen the quality and availability of fine arts education. Maintaining a safe and secure learning environment for both students and staff is a high priority for any school district. But do you know how safe your schools really are? One of the best ways to ensure a safe school climate is to conduct a comprehensive school safety assessment. Such an assessment conducted by trained school safety experts is available through MSBA's Center for Education Safety. The assessment reviews 30 areas related to school safety 
and provides a framework for identifying issues that might need to be addressed. Contact MSBA's Center for Education Safety for an initial consultation for a safety assessment in your school district. If you've just been elected to your local Board of Education for the first time, congratulations and welcome to school board service. One of the first things you'll want to do is complete the 16 hours of training required by state law and provided by MSBA. Half of the 16 hours can be completed online, with the other half provided at various locations in the state throughout the year. Visit the MSBA website for a complete schedule of training opportunities. There is no cost to participate in the required training. Also, mark your calendar for the annual MSBA Leadership Summit to be held June 3rd and 4th at the Lake of the Ozarks. Registration information for that event is posted on the MSBA website. And be sure your board is represented at the Delegate Assembly to be held in conjunction with the Leadership Summit. This Delegate Assembly will be electing new state officers for the coming year and also will be discussing the proposed merger of MSBA's various advocacy documents into a single document that clearly articulates MSBA's positions on education issues. That's it for this month's edition of the MSBA Board Report. Thanks for allowing us to have some time at your board meeting and so long from Columbia.